Hey, what's going on? You're hanging out with The Rockman backstage at The Black Sabbath Show. And uh, with me is drummer of Black Sabbath, Tommy Clefettis. What's going on, man? Yeah, just getting ready to rock and roll. Everything's going on. <laughs> so you've been, yeah. in, you've been in Montreal for, uh, for a day now, and I think you guys are spending another day here. Have you had a chance to walk around the city? Because I, I know you've been here before with Ozzy. Yeah, I, I did not leave the hotel room yesterday. I stayed in the hotel room all day. Just took, it, took time to chill? Yeah, I was just exhausted after the last show. So sometimes I just like, I'm kind of a hermit. Even if I'm home, I don't leave the house. So. And the thing but is, it is a beautiful city. Yeah, I've been here many times. You, yeah, and, you've, yeah, you've and the people are wonderful, and it's it's great to be back. Um, and if people haven't seen you play before, um, the reason why you would be relaxing is because you put it all out on the stage. Why you not? If you got it to give, give it all you got. You know. Um, I saw you play with Ozzy the last time he came through here, and um, uh, you know, three hours into the show, Ozzy looks back. You know, and the two guys on his right, and on, the guy on his right, the guy on his left look tired. Look <laughs> back at you, and you look like you're ready to go. Hey, um, it, it must be inspiring for you to look at Ozzy and go, "Man, this is like this. If, if this guy can do it, I gotta, I gotta turn it." No, up. I mean, I give them all the respect in the world, Ozzy, Tony, and Geezer, because I'm 34 now. I can't believe I'm that. I just said that. I'm getting old, um, and they're twice my age, and they rock like harder than any 20 year olds I know and they go every night to the fullest so it's what it's all about it's giving it up for the people and for the show and the music and it keeps you young so um, in preparation for this gig when you got the call and they said hey we want you to go out on the road with 13 um, what, what was your process what did you do I mean obviously you went back and you, and you made sure you went oh I just do everything I can yeah I'm not telling any of my secrets okay. anymore <laughs> because I don't want people stealing my my gigs so no, I just I just go over everything with a fine tooth comb over and over and over and try to um, get myself into the music and the spirit of what the music is all about the best that I can so I don't do any anything and everything to do so. Um, is there anything you're listening to right now that just blows you away? Any bands that no, just... I, I listen to all old music. Yeah? Yeah. Nothing Nothing current? No current No, not bands, really. Or... I listen to the same things I started listening to when I was a kid. Like what? So, I mean, I, I love Elvis Presley. I listen to Elvis. I listen to country music i listen to a lot of blues music and just kind of things to get away from from the metal yeah yeah i'm not really like a metal guy yeah. i mean um so i just listen to good music whether it's jazz or blues or steely dan fan or, no, i'm not so much as, it's a little too um much tie for me. <laughs> like you you a little know, looser yeah than that. and a lot of detroit music i love you know the motown music and all that kind of stuff so what'd you think of that story about um uh, the guy that came out of Detroit that everyone thought was dead. Oh, Rodriguez. the movie? The Rodriguez. I, oh, the, wh everybody was telling me I have to see this movie. It's it the greatest thing. It's going to blow your mind. And I watched it. And I was like, who cares? Really? I, I was didn't like, have any I'm, kind of an effect on it? No, because I didn't think the... I mean, I'm nobody to talk. No, it's okay. I didn't think the music blew me away. I right. mean, I never heard of the guy, so... I don't know. But it is pretty wild that he... Um, Did he I didn't get through the whole movie, but okay. he... <laughs> <laughs> what is he big South Africa or something? Well, he like became that? he became huge in South Africa. Yeah, and I mean that's like a, pretty wild. That part of it, but the music didn't blow me away. Everybody was telling me that the music is gonna like Bob Dylan, but I, you know, um, being a guy that grew up in Detroit, obviously there's a there's a huge influence. Just I, I imagine just in the uh, just in the atmosphere from Detroit uh, from the old Detroit Motown stuff. Sure, uh, th is that why you're you're more into older stuff? I, I don't know. I just <laughs> I mean I'm in of of course I'm into. Um, in Detroit, it's always a little more blues-based kind of music, so right. I, I I lean towards that side of things. So you know, it's 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 where you're brought up. It's what's in the water. So yeah, I'm sure it has something to do with it. Biggest inspiration, drumming? Um, my family is my biggest inspiration. My mom and my dad for supporting me and let me do what I do. So that's amazing. Yeah, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, man. hey, my pleasure. Today. Appreciate it. Thank you. God has struck the hour. Judgment, God is calling. Underneath the war pigs crawling. 